do this for eight as well. Not a single piece of removal was drawn here. So they just need to find one lightning strike and we're super dead, so we're good. They don't have red. They don't have red. I repeat, they don't have red. They don't have red. So they cannot play the lightning strike. They can't. They just can't. Now they have red. <gasps> they will be taking the robbery. They will be afraid. I told you they will be taking the robbery. I told you they would. I told you they would be taking the robbery here. We can do this for 10? Yes. Oh my lord, thank for your Sheldred. Thank you for your Sheldred. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you for your Sheldred, my friend. brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most wonderful freaking day. Oh, how many times I've said it already in the last hour. I've been recording all of these deck decks. That is why I look exactly the same like I did yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day I could go on for some time here. But hey, we're still on our way to 30k. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Push the little button down there. Smash! That subscribe button, become part of Meloniax. Also, if you want to help me out really, really well, how do you say that in English? If you want to really help me out, leave a comment, leave a like, share the video with a friend. It goes a long way to support the channel without having to spend a single freaking dime on me. But enough of the hammering. Let's get into the actually good Demir hammering. Demir is pretty hard to pull off right now. Um, you know, the decks are so fast. Demir is kind of a very grindy kind of control deck and sometimes very hard to pull off. But after a lot of trial and error and a lot of like days where I tried to make Demir work and just said, ah, screw it, I finally built a good freaking version. And here it is. So our main win con is kind of mill, you know. But we also have other ways. But the main win con is kind of mill because we're playing Outrageous Robbery, Realm Breaker and Jace. So why are we playing Realm Breaker? Well, first of all, it mills three cards every single turn, which is absolutely amazing. And also it steals lands, which is very good with the Outrageous Robbery. Um, if we steal maybe one of their Restless Reefs, even freaking better if we're in a mirror match. So we can mill them even freaking more. And uh, as you can see, we only have two Jaces. That is because our main win con is actually Outrageous freaking Robbery. Might say Malone, okay, yeah, that sounds good. But you know, stealing like five cards, whatever. Well, we're playing three Mind Splice Apparatus. These three Mind Splice Apparatus will turn this Outrageous Robbery into a, like, 20 mana Outrageous Robbery. 20,000 mana Outrageous Robbery, doesn't even matter. So that is what we're trying to freaking do here. Mind Splice Apparatus, Outrageous Robbery. So, we have a lot of spells also that work very well with the Mind Splice. Like the March of the Ratchet Sorrow, because, you know, X gets reduced as well with this. A uh, Syncopate which gets reduced with this, uh, and the Silver Freaking Scrutiny, which also has an X spell in it. So all of these X spells get cheaper with the Mind Splice Apparatus, and you can throw this into freaking Infinity, just making certain that your opponent gets freaking nothing. Um, also new cards that we're playing is the Deduce, which is very darn good, and the Deadly Cover-Up, which you know, just remove their win con, just let them have nothing. We have a Cutdown for the early game, Path of Terror for the early game, Bit of Triumph for whenever, Deduce to draw the cards very darn freaking good. And some of you might now say, might now say, um, yo, Memory Deluge is kind of a number. But let me tell you, a two mana draw two cards is still pretty darn good. If you see that this is an investment of four to draw two cards, even if your Mind Splice is on seven already, or on five in this case, if this is in your graveyard, I would, should rather say, you still get two cards in your hand. You know, it is very darn freaking worth it. Why the heck not? In the early game, it will search you what you need. In the late game, once your apparatus is already down, it will just draw you two cards for two mana. So what even gives? You know, what even freaking gives? Yes, you will also draw like seven cards for two mana once this is on seven. That is true. But you know, just still a very good card. And you don't always have this and this available. So this is just absolutely freaking worth it. Path of Peril. 
Also, like you know, will only cost you like two black mana to wipe the board later on. This will only cost you two black mana to wipe the board later on. It's absolutely freaking amazing. And uh, yeah, that is all I have to say about the decks. Also, Mirex, Demolition Field, so we can make certain that we like win we maybe even with Might. But in the most cases, you just steal everything of your opponent and win with their deck. Easy peasy. Lemon. Freaking squeezy. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is one of my favorite decks, actually. Demir will always be like my biggest love in dual color card combinations in Magic. So I hope you will enjoy. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is an actually good Demir. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those outrageous games. Version 3.0, we're up against Bonus Boy, number 540 in the world rankings, let's go! Opponent's going first, do not like it too much. Do I like the hand though? I mean, we have a cut down, we have a syncopate, so let's try this. Let's just try this, and we have a Mind Splice Apparatus, so that is pretty good. All we need is like one or two lands and we're happy. Absolutely happy Maloney's. Alright, Deep Cavern Bat. Straight up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Game already starts outside of our favor. The best Ymir is the toxic version there is? No, I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Alright, bonus point. Alright. Not finding the lands here, eh? I mean, eh? I kind of gambled here. Kind of freaking gambled here. And the gamble didn't pay off at all. Did not pay off at all. We could still find a land now and another land straight afterwards. That would still be good. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> Opponent on double the lands we do. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is always what you want to see here. Not. Okay. And shatter it. Tranquil Frillback. Alright. Why are people playing Tranquil Frillback? Is it really because of the meta with all the lands? <gasps> oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Okay, all right. We're still in this. We're still freaking in this. I will totally outrageous robbery one of their one cards here. One single card. Why? Because it might be a land. Or a removal. Be a land, come on. It is a land. We did well. We did well. Okay. Do you think they have another Tranquil Frill back here? I guess they do. But we're only taking four here, so we're still kind of alright. Still kind of alright. So. I will be going for... The discard here. Passing the turn. So we are taking another hit here. But I can still just get big of their, uh, rid of their Tranquil Frill back. Alright, we're still on 7. We are still on 7. Which is pretty darn good. Here's the Mind Splice now. They do have an answer to that. They do have an answer to that. Nothing I can do about that, is there now? Alright, deadly cover up. Sadly, I have to do this. But it will be worth it. What do they have here? Well, we will find out soon enough. Um, getting rid of the Tranquil Frill back. They really had another one in hand. I was so certain they would. So freaking certain that they would. Okay, alright. Okay, as long as you don't play a Sheldred here, we're kind of alright. That is not a Sheldred. That is not a Sheldred. Yo, stealing the Restless Cottage here was so good. So freaking good. Alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this for a six now. 
Um, discarding four. That is the memory deluge that got useless, the cut down. Um, the deduce. And one land. Okay. I really like our hand here. Number 500 in the world rankings. All right. So let's get rid of all of your aglazots, shall we? Uh, memory deluge can go cut down and syncopate. That is six. This is the fun part. You destroy the aglazots, you can straight up freaking. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't really care. I want to get rid of it. And if I have to get rid of it, I will. I will freaking get rid of it if I have to. Because that is kind of a win con for you. Wait, they only had one? Oh, boo on me. Boo on me! Alright. So, we're drawing uh, one, two, three, four, three more cards here. Okay, things are looking okay. Yo, Pascal Mercier, merci beaucoup. I appreciate it. So, we have how much mana? 8, 12. We can do this for 10 now. Just straight up do it for 10 now. Auto pay. Pretty darn good. <laughs> Pretty darn good. <laughs> If I say so myself. All right. And then I'm chilling. Just chilling. There's no need to do anything here. They're down to 28 cards. And they scoop. Who is the number 500 in the world rankings now? Not me, but close enough. No cigar, no cake for you, no soup. Come back in a hundred years. We're straight up up against Moss. If we cannot beat Moss, <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I don't like the hand. This hand is perfect. Okay, we can get rid of one Mind Splice apparatus. Uh, of this deck that I'm playing right now, I had to re-upload, uh, I had to redo the deck. Like, you know, the, the version I had was just bad. So, yeah. Oh, okay! Demir versus Demir! Um, we can just play this here. Demir versus Demir. What is there to fear? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Just straight up ain't gonna happen. Oh, another Mind Splice. That is not even half that bad. I mean, we threw one away, I guess. But that is still not bad. Not even half that bad. Did guys reenact the crime? Might be. Another Rona. You're so keen on having that. I will just do this over and over again. Okay. I really don't want to find more land here now, game, please. Some sort of card draw would be very good. Thank you. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> if we lose this now because of five lands in the first nine cards... Oh, there... Okay, alright. I will be very sad. Very, very sad. Not gonna lie. So right now they don't have too much to, you know, to reenact. The syncopate is good here. All right. Because then we can counter the reenact the crime. But right now I'm no happy Malone. I really, really need either my uh, silver scrutiny or even my um, memory deluge now I would take. Even though it would just be a two mana draw two cards, which is still now fine, you know? Is a juicy secret. Which is still fine. My turn, here's another Mind Splicer. They do have something, I wonder what it is. Come on game, be good to me. Be good. I want to trigger it like this. <laughs> Come on game, be cool here. I love you game, I love you so much. So that is one, two, three, four, six cards drawn. 
That's just straight up draw six cards here. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. Here I thought they had a counter spell. I was just not smart. I should have just drawn five. Here I straight up thought they had a counter spell. Oh my lord. What did I do? Are they even playing counter spells? All right. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> But we do have to syncopate now, which is super darn good. Super darn good. Because they want to reenact the crime here. But that just ain't gonna happen. Oh no, please don't reenact the crime here. One counter spell is all it needed to make him scoop. If only I would have known. I would have played counter spells all day long, man. All day long. Moss. You're the lowest kind of plant there is. All right, we're up against Acrylate 1410 because Acrylate 1 to 14 9 was already taken. Opponent's going first. No, I like it, but I do like our hand here. Oh, it's Boros. Look at this. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it is not. We will see here. We do have a lot of board wipes, so let us see what they're doing here. Just straight up mono white humans. Okay. Alright, I shall allow it. Spellbook vendor. You need to go. Um. Oh, that is true. That is absolutely true. Yeah, that is... That is true. Sometimes I'm just not thinking straight, you know? I should, but I'm not. So what you got here for me? Come on, attack me for one damage. Acrylate. More like you're way too late to do anything here. Warden of the Inner Sky. Okay. Not a Warden of the Inner Sky. I don't really want that to happen, so I'm going to get rid of this here. And that is pretty good. Do I wait one more turn? I should. I should wait one more turn. I can just counter whatever they slam at me here. I can just straight up counter that. And see what they're doing then. Should I counter this? No, I shouldn't. I should just wipe the board there. Should just freaking wipe the board and be, be happy about it. Alrighty. So we're taking four here. They scry one. Keeping on top. Okay. Um doing this now. Path of peril. So they can now attack in with the um with the Mishra's Foundry, which I really don't like. Which I really, really don't like. But we do have the memory deluge. We're still on 12 life, so hey-ho, you know? Still hey-ho. Okay, if they're just attacking you with this, that is kind of fine with me. Go ahead and do that, my friend. Another land. Yeah, exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. Another land. If they play something here, I will just syncopate it. Well, maybe not a Lunark veteran. But whatever they're playing now. Oh, Acrylate. They even forgot to attack in. They even freaking forgot to attack in with the Misha's Foundry. I want that, yes. And another board wipe can't hurt, can it now? Alright, passing the turn. So I can totally get rid of all of their Lunark veterans if I want to. But we shall see about that. Where Fox Bodyguard? Let's do this. Am I really scared of the bodyguard? I don't think I am. Like, I'm taking three here. That is like nothing. Up to one. Are they doing it? They're not. Okay. So. The board wipe here is huge. 
Whatever they play, I can just counter it. Please restart. I will do it afterwards, thanks. I will just do it afterwards. I hope we're still allowed. Okay. Ten minutes. I hope we can win until then. <laughs> I really hope we can. <laughs> I really hope we can. Copper coat Vanguard. That is a human, but this isn't. Okay. Getting rid of Vanguard is pretty good. Let's do that. Okay. They still do have something. But it doesn't really matter too much to me. Right, activating here. Half of peril. Well, this makes it easy. Um, I will be getting rid of the copper coat vanguard here. Three, two, one, six. <laughs> that is how you do math. That is how you do math, my friends. So, oh no, please don't sack it, not the two life. Whatever will I do? I think that the copper coat vanguard is the best card to steal here. Okay, all right. So, they might just be going in and play them both, you know? But we will see here. But getting rid of Adeline is also very, very good for us. Very, very good. Okay, drawing a card here. Memory Delugio. That is pretty good. Okay, let us get rid of all of their Adelines now. Seems about right. Um, because... And they scoop. Oh, pure evil! Did somebody say evil? I said evil. Pure evil. Eva Malone here to introduce you all to the pain. That is the house. Of Demir. Get crushed. All right, we're up against Alligator Alley. How you doing, Mona Red in the house? <gasps> Crimus, yes, Crimus. Okay, we're up against Alley playing Mona Red. Just you wait, just you wait. <laughs> I told you, I told you it's Alley. All right, all right. That is the third freaking viewer that we encountered today. The third one. That is crazy. Falden Sheldon. Kind of annoying here, not gonna lie. So let's deduce. Okay. Um I think this is worth it. Because we're getting into board wipe territory anyways very soon. So let us see if I can win one game against one of our viewers. At least one, you know? Would be pretty good if we could. Monstrous Rage, alright, that sucks, but hey. Going straight up for the Jace. But only one? Okay. Only one. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Okay, all right. I mean, we do have this March of the Wretched Sorrow that I'm not afraid to use if I have to. I hope I don't have to, but, uh, you know, I would still totally freaking do it. Okay, another Kumano. Another land. And... Okay. If there is another monster roll, there ain't nothing I can do about it, is there now? If there is another monster roll, there is nothing I can do about it. Ellie! Don't be like this! <laughs> Ah, 
Usually I would feel sorry for you, my dear viewer. But as you're playing Mono Red, get out of here, Ali. Get yourself a new deck, call me. I will send you one. I will send you one. All right, we're up against the beer lord. Okay, don't drink and drive though. <gasps> Krimmers! Yes, Krimmers, I really like the hand also. I really do. Okay, all right. Uh, let's keep this for now. Literally no reason not to keep it. Okay, get your bad incoming commands in here already. You misplayed it and nothing, well, that happens. That absolutely happens. March of the Wretched Sorrow here, eh? Let's bring in our Realm Breaker. I think that that is pretty good. So the Beer Lord, with land trouble here it seems. Nope, no land trouble whatsoever, but we do have land trouble. Okay, let's do this now. Oh wait, what? Okay, alright. So we just stole their Rectus, eh? <laughs> we just stole their Rectus. <laughs> Yo, you attacked Jay's wrong. Well, it happens. But scoop of shame, there's no need for that, you know? All right, passing the turn. Mind Splice coming down here. Okay. Super confused at what this might be. I mean, mill yourself as much as you can. I'm all for it. They did not find a land here. Because we milled them the lands. Double Mind Splice, always nice. Always nice with the Mind Splice. Goblin? What is this? Uh, this card is Sacrifice a Permanent. Yo, Booksy, thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. I mean, what even gives, you know? Um, we don't have lands, which kind of sucks. So let's steal some of theirs. <laughs> there is no need to be ashamed. <laughs> there is no need to be ashamed. Like, my viewers are allowed to. My viewers are allowed to do whatever they want. It's just the others that aren't. It's just the others that earned. Okay, so. Need to be careful here. Yeah, okay, two damage. I do have the March of the Wretched Sorrow, so I'm not that afraid. I should be, but I'm absolutely not. Sheldred. Doing this now. Oh, wait, cancel. Oh, it is already my turn by the time, okay. Discarding the memory deluge here because like yeah, it won't be too useful with this around anymore My turn indeed Another non land, okay, all right Well, let's pass the turn here first Don't you feel it slow? I, I th th the reason why I played is exactly the same reason what you just said. I just love playing it. I Just love freaking playing it Okay, all right. Now, when we bring down another mind splice here, so what do they even have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is kind of fine with me. Getting rid of the path of Paralinos here. Resolve. Take three damage. Play another mind splice. So, my turn. How much did I not like this Rankled's prank? A lot, right? So let's do this for four first here. But only costs me two. There's a land now. Okay. And now we're deadly covering up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, very good. This still can draw me two cards, so yeah. My brother is a big gamer and I'm a big MTG player. How can I convince my brother to get into magic? It can be tough. But it's absolutely feasible. 
So I didn't like the rankle sprank. We're getting rid of that. Um, just like play, like ask them to play with you once. Just say, give me one chance here. Give me one chance to play the game here. Just one. And they will like it. So what does this do? Okay. All right. So they now will always have three cards available. Which, you know, can be annoying, but is not the end of the world annoying. Now let's get the Black Source, because we can actually use it. Alright, so this is 6. Plus 6 is 12. Let's totally do this for a 12. No oh, wait, that is not 12. That is not 12! All right, here is 12 now. Did I count correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus six is 12. Yes, I did count correctly. I did do the correct counting. Opponent will not like it. They will scoop here now. <gasps> they can sacrifice themselves? Oh no, I'm super dead. They can sacrifice themselves? I'm super dead. I I'm super dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. I did not know that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, absolutely no. I did not know that. Oh no. Oh no. I'm super dead. Yeah, absolutely get wrecked. <laughs> absolutely get wrecked. <laughs> absolutely get wrecked here, man. Oh no. Deep Cavern Bat. Okay, that is still okay. I can do the Silver Scrutiny for a million, you know? And just find myself another March of the Wretched Sorrow. Another Deep Cavern Bat. So let's draw eight cards here. We didn't draw a single removal here. Not a single freaking removal here. Let's do this for eight as well. Not a single piece of removal was drawn here. Not a single piece of removal. I cannot believe it. I can absolutely not believe that we haven't drawn a single piece of removal. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. If they have a lightning strike, we're dead so anyways. And I think I have seen one. So they just need to find one lightning strike and we're super dead so. And then next turn I play Liliana, draw a million little cards. We just need to survive this turn. We just need to survive this turn. Okay, alright. If we survive this turn, we're good. They don't have red. They don't have red. I repeat, they don't have red. They don't have red. So they cannot play the lightning strike. They can't. They just can't. Now they have red. <gasps> they will be taking the robbery. They will be afraid. They will be taking the robbery. I told you they will be taking the robbery. I told you they would. I told you they would be taking the robbery here. We can do this for 10. Yes. Oh my lord, thank for your Sheldred. Thank you for your Sheldred. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you for your Sheldred, my friend. Thank you very much. 
And now... They scoop. Oh my lord! <laughs> uh, I was so scared! I think... I think I uh, need new pants now! <laughs> Yo! Uh, Thank you for your shattered, my friend! Oh, seven! I learned something new in chat. We're up against Brent! 2021 because brand 2020 until brand one. Oh my lord, Krimmers! Yes, you better stop talking now. <laughs> I better stop talking now. I really like the hand here. Really like the hand. I mean, we were in the numbers. Then we tried to play Azorius Control and we got absolutely shwasted for that. Yes, I would like that syncopate. Thank you very much. Another mono red, eh? Another mono red, eh? Yo, SPN O's up. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Play with fire, okay. And? I mean, if we draw one more land here, we're pretty good, you know? Yeah, mono red and Boros are the top played games decks. So, yeah, that is... Nothing to be uh, surprised about. Jace is not a land. Bitter Triumph is also not a land. The things you learn with MTG Malone, aren't they impressive? Aren't they impressive? Felden sucks. But hey. Um, let's discard... The Jace, actually. Oh, look! They have a, um... They have the thing. You know, the uh, monstrous rage. That is what they have here. Otherwise, they wouldn't be holding priority like this. Okay. Yo, really? Really, game? Come on. I want one land. I want one land. 2021 is his birthday. <laughs> that would be so funny. That ain't happening. That literally ain't happening. Mono red. Mono freaking red, eh? Man, I hate every single thing about this. Every single thing about it. Play with fire. Putting on bottom, that is good, I like that. The dismal backwater, I mean, at least it's something, you know? At least it is something. So depending on what they do here, if they attack in with the Misha's Foundry, that that is your third play with fire, my friend. The third one. There is a limit. There is a freaking limit. Okay, alright. They are attacking in with it. That is very good. Um, I'm getting rid of the... One deadly cover-up here. Because the mind splice might still be important. Alright. So let us see what they're doing here. We do have the Restless Reef to block with. Monastery Swift Spare, alright. Jeez Louise, are they playing on a potato? Are they playing on a freaking potato? Let's give another Yuri go. <laughs> Must be playing on a freaking potato here. Oh my lord. Witch Stalker's Frenzy. If I don't draw land here, I'm just dead. Witch Stalker's Frenzy was their last card. Yeah, I guess we're dead here. I guess we're dead here. 
Come on, player land. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Just have to draw like a young god here. Which I didn't do. So it doesn't really matter what we're getting rid of. Have we seen Kumano already? No. Let's just get rid of this. Look, they have two Witch Stalkers frenzies. Two of them. And they found one just like that. Okay. A land. That is pretty darn good. So we're doing this for three now. Ah! <gasps> Oh my lord, we're still cooking. Oh my lord, we're still cooking. Unless they find, like, something that just deals me one damage, you know? If they do, we're just super dead, so here. Let's draw two. Syncopate is super good. Super, super good. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Yo, that's right. I can always use the Mirex. That is absolutely true. Alright, let them use it here. But I can just syncopate this. Then do this for five. I'm doing it for seven. I don't think that the robbery is needed here. Jeez Louise, man. Yo, that is so good. Alright, let's do it for five. Keep up some mana. Okay, four of those were lands. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. <laughs> that ain't good at all. That ain't good at all, man. Charming Scoundrel. Okay, alright. Let us see what they're doing, though. Wicked roll ain't gonna happen, my friend. Yo. Yo. Okay, game. Need to do this now. The amount of land here is ridiculous. Kind of very, very ridiculous. Holy smokes, man! Like, what the heck? What the living heck? Could I please, like, not find only lands here? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, you know what? Demolition field. Yo, what the heck, man? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. But it's still worth it. Lightning strike. Doing this for six. Yo, Renan Albuquerque. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Now drawing this card. But the memory deluge is still pretty good for the early game, you know? I love you, game. I literally love you. Ending the turn, getting rid of this island now. Okay, alright. Godric coming down. 
So this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I hope you enjoy the show. Stupid mono red man. Oh, I will not be milling myself. I still have all the Jaces. And now I have all the outrageous freaking robberies. So passing the turn here. Jeez Louise, man. I have another charming scoundrel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Robbery's entire deck, that is my plan. I, like, they're still not giving up. They're still not giving up. That is crazy to me. All right, and now draw another two. I still have 17 cards left, so yeah. Hey ho, let's go. All right. <laughs> Look at all the mind splices. <laughs> Look at all the freaking mind splices. Yeah, I would like that. Thank you very much. So that is already 11. Okay. Pass damage. QQ. We have uh, 11 here plus 11 here. That means we can do this for 20. 20 cards stolen from Mono Red. Oh, look at the robbery. Don't you mean the robbery? Don't you mean the robbery? <laughs> look. <laughs> they would have drawn seven lands in a row or how many that are. Yo, that is madness. That is absolute madness. So, can we win here with their stupid deck? So, that is two. Plus the thrill seeker. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's just do it in our way. Let's just do it our way. Okay, perfect. <laughs> just absolutely perfect. Yeah, look at them, Brent. You thought you could stop me, but you couldn't. Freaking stop me! I am indeed the Mono Red now! Oh, that was delicious! Get squashed! Like a freaking tomato man! Plucked from the right, plucked from the left, smushed together until the delicious, delicious tomato juice is falling in my mouth! And I hate tomatoes, but in this case, it was freaking delicious! And then, my friend, is the actual fruit of the day! The tomato!